are. Remember, the A, B, and C are opposite their corresponding angles. All right, so let's draw. And it doesn't need to be uh, accurate. It's just for reference. Okay, so A, B is 7. B, C is 10. And the measure of angle B is 80 degrees. Okay, so this is little letter C. This 10 is lowercase a, and this is lowercase b. So the side that I'm trying to solve for is b, so that's going to be all the way on the left by itself. So b squared is going to equal, I'm going to write the whole equation out without any of the numbers first. Okay, so b squared is going to equal a squared plus c squared minus 2ac times the cosine of angle b. So let's type or let's plug everything in. b squared equals 10 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 10 times 7 times the cosine of 80. Let's simplify this. I've got 100 plus 49 minus 140 times the cosine of 80. And I'm going to warn you here. Here's where a common mistake happens. Put your pencil down. The common mistake I see students do is combine those three terms. You are not allowed to do that. That 140 is attached to cosine of 80, making it an unlike term to the 149. Okay, so I've got 149 minus 140 times the cosine of 80. At this point, you should be able to type everything directly into your calculator. So 149 minus 140 times the cosine of 80. And b squared is approximately 124.7, which makes b approximately 11.2, which is what I was asked for in example one. You may want to pause your video to make sure that you've copied everything down because I'm going to have to erase it all in order to get example two. In example two, I have triangle QRS. Let's draw the diagram so we know what's where. Okay, so QR is 31.9. RS is 25.2. And QS is 37.6. This time, we are trying to find the measure of an angle. Remember that the angle in the equation has to be the same letter as the equation starts with. So, if I'm finding the measure of an angle R, I'm starting the equation with segment R. And again, I'm going to write the whole equation out without the numbers plugged in, and then I'll plug the numbers in, and we'll simplify and solve. So it'll be R squared equals Q squared plus S squared minus 2QS 
times the cosine of angle R. Now we plug the values in. R is 37.6 squared equals Q is 25.2 squared plus S, which is 31.9 squared um, minus 2 times 25.2 times 31.9 times the cosine of R. And again, make sure that you're being careful about what's like terms and what's not. Okay, so simplifying, 37.6 squared. 1413.2 635.04 plus 1017.61 minus 2 times 25.2 times 31.9 that is 1626.9 times the cosine of R. Continuing to simplify, again, I can't stress this to you enough. Put your pencil down. These are not like terms. You can't combine them all. What you are allowed to combine is this. Okay, so pick your pencil back up. And let's combine those two like terms. So. 635.04 plus 1017.61. Okay, so 1413.76 equals 1652.65 minus 1626.9 times the cosine of R. Now I gotta get my variable by itself. Don't forget the algebra you already know. I'm trying to get R by itself. My next step is going to be to subtract this from both sides. So when I do that, I've got 1413.76 minus 1652.65. So negative 238.89 equals negative be careful, 16, oops, 26.9 times the cosine of R. Next step in order to get the angle by itself is to divide both sides by this number. So when I do that, I have negative 238.89 divided by negative 1626.9. And now I have that the cosine of R equals 0 0.1468 approximately. Remember that I have told you that the fewer times you clear your calculator, the better off you are. At this point, since I'm trying to find the measure of an angle, remember what we did way back at the beginning of the chapter. We use the inverse function. So if you're using one of my graphing calculators, if you notice at the very, very bottom of the calculator, above the negative sign, you're able to bring up your last answer. Okay, so inverse cosine of my last answer, which is that 0.1468 blah, 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 and I find that the measure of the angle is approximately 81.6. So the measure of angle R is approximately 81.6.